In this video, we have two integrals to evaluate. So we'll look at the first one. We've got the integral of 1 over cosine squared of x. I don't think these seem difficult, but in some cases, when they you have something that's difficult, it might be to your advantage to rewrite the integral. We have 1, one over cosine squared. Cosine and secant are reciprocals, so we can write this as secant squared of x dx. And then it should be fairly obvious. We know the derivative of tangent is secant squared. So the integral of secant squared of x tangent of x plus your constant of integration. So we didn't need a u substitution for this one. Straightforward. Just knowing the formulas for integrals. Now the next one we got secant of 2x minus 1. There is a formula for the integral of secant. And you could easily apply that right here. But if it's easier to rewrite it in terms of a u substitution, you can let u equal to 2x minus 1. So du, the rate of 2x minus 1 is 2. So you'd have the dx here. So solving for dx, we can come out with dx is equal to divide both sides by 2, du over 2. And then we can continue to write this in terms of the variable u. So we have the integral of secant of 2x minus 1, but the u is 2x minus 1. So it should be secant of u. And then to dx right here, dx is du over 2. Put du here, and then the one half would come out in front here. So now we can go directly to the formula. Then I go a secant of u, natural log of absolute, and this is secant of u plus tangent of u, plus the constant of integration. And then we just have to go back to the original variable. So we got ln of absolute and it's secant of u, but the u is 2x minus 1. And then it's the tangent of u, by replacing u by 2x minus 1. Close the absolute values, and then it's plus the constant of integration. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.